Hello, this is Mark from Boosted CRM, and today I would like to walk you through a document automation, population, and e-signature process that we made for our clients. And the process, actually, I'm just going to go through the data flow and uh, give you a briefing about how the data will flow through the system. So as usual, we have leads, accounts, contacts, and deals. Uh, we also have work orders and deliverables. So basically, when a company wants to hire another company to do work for them, they usually sign an NDA agreement and sign a master service agreement, MSA. And then they usually generate a work order uh, that will be signed. That work order will usually contain some deliverables that needs to be delivered based on the work order criteria. That could be software, documentations, files, or even hardware. So in this video, I'm just going to walk you through the NDA process automation. And in the next two videos, I will also walk you through the MSA automation and signature, and also work order generation automation, and how it's gonna interact with Zoho project and Zoho books to keep track of everything and having the checks and balances necessary. So let's start jumping to it quickly. I have created an account already, boosted CRM 600, and I will go there. As soon as I click on this action, it's just gonna trigger a widget and it's gonna request an NDA. So I will request an NDA. The person who is the user and runs this will become the requester of the system and requester of the NDA and all the communications will be done uh, with him. So here I just request NDA, it triggers a blueprint and that it says collect NDA info and send to compliance. So technically we are going to review the con NDA information that's been populated I just click on it, it's gonna trigger another widget that will pop up. So here I can see the signer because we want this person who is the client or the partner to sign this NDA. Now I have the option to select other users or I have the option to create a new user right here from inside this widget. And this is gonna be the signer if I want. to. But just let's go ahead with this one. Let's say this is an LLC and it's in California. So as soon as I save this widget, this is going to send notification to group of people who are in compliance department. They all get one task assigned to them and they all get emails. So the first person who's technically going to take care of that task and close the task, all the tasks will be automatically closed based on the coding that we've done in the back end. So I'm just going to save this. And now, as you can see, compliance, three people in compliance have received these tasks. And here is the instruction. Please review the NDA section info and generate the NDA. So in, I'm the compliance person now. And all these emails will be received here. Uh, basically, it's a praise verify NDA info section. So all compliance people will get one of these emails. Just to let you know about the notifications now if i scroll down i see that okay now this section that was hidden initially after i requested the nda is visible so i can check this information and this looks good to me so as a compliance member i can just uh, reject the request if i reject i should explain why i'm rejecting it so the person the requester can see it if i generate the nda it's going to automatically use a zoho writer to populate the NDA and attach it to this account record. So now that it's doing it, at the same time, it's clearing all these tasks from the previous section because we don't want the system to have so many open tasks. So it's just close all those tasks. And if I refresh, you can see that the attachment is the Word document that is basically a draft NDA that has been populated here. So we can just quickly take a look. It has been gone to the right places. All the fields are mapped. And I scroll down. Usually it's just at the top and signature at the bottom waiting to be signed, as you can see. 
So that's pretty much it. I will close this document, go back to the record. Now, as a compliance member, I will send it to the contract or legal department for review. And here is the instruction, send attached draft NDA to the contracts. So when I feel comfortable with this, I'll send it to the contracts. This widget runs and it's automatically assigned tasks to the com contracts people, three people are in the contracts group. So it's just giving them instruction to please review attached NDA and upload final NDA. I have three options here. I can regenerate the NDA if anything's wrong with it. I can reject the NDA and I can upload final NDA. But I'm just gonna reject it this time around. And I say the phone number format is wrong, is correct. So I will proceed. Technically all these tasks will be cleared. The note will be posted here. So the next person will come here can see what happened. Now I'm the requester again, because when they reject, it goes back all the way up to the requester. And it says, and they rejected by contracts, please make, make the corrections. So I have to go to this uh, account and go to the contact, basically take a look and see if there is anything wrong with the phone number. So I will check. Just overwrite this 677 and save it. Let's say I corrected the problem. And now I can just NDA rejected by contacts, please make corrections. So I made the corrections and I can just check this here and see, okay, now the phone number looks good and everything else looks good. And so this is the signer and I'm just gonna send it to compliance again. Same process will re re repeat information corrected and now it says resubmit to compliance say so, okay the phone number format has been corrected please review so this is another note for the compliance compliance will get this note as usual they can go through this and check the note and then they can regenerate the nda Compliance, please review the NDA section info and generate NDA. So it's just walk you through what you need to do step by step. And every time you move forward, it's just gonna clean the task from the previous uh, states of the blueprint. Now at this point, I generated the NDA. You can see it right here. If I regenerate the NDA, if I make any changes and regenerate it, it's gonna override this file. So it has a file cleaning actually system also developed in our code that will get rid of all unnecessary files at this in real time to avoid having so many confusing files attached to this record. So I'm just gonna send it this time to contracts for review. Contracts people will get their notifications, they will review it. And now they, if they feel comfortable with this, all they need to do is to download this, take a look at it and make sure everything's right. If they don't like anything, they can just remove it or change it. But let's say everything's okay. So they need to just save this as final because it's a draft. So we rename this to final and save it as a PDF. And that's it. It's on my local computer. I saved the PDF file called final. Now I'm gonna go back to the record and follow the instructions. It says, please review attach NDA and upload the final NDA. So I'm just gonna upload the final NDA, click here. If I by mistake select any other files here, the system won't allow me to move forward. This is another checking on our code, in our code to make sure people don't make mistakes. So I will close this and I upload the final NDA and now everything's fine because the name matches with the account name and it's final. So this is gonna attach the final NDA right here to this record. So now I have a PDF attached. And in terms of the email notifications that we receive, as you can see, just close this down. Also this one. So as you can see, there are so many emails. When email goes to compliance and review and reject, you get all these emails. Now I'm just gonna send this for signature. When I send it for the signature, first we use all signer integrations in the back end to send this to the
customer or to the basically to this person to the contact to do the signature and again it's just going to check all the files if any of these files are mismatched or wrong name or wrong format it's not going to allow it to move forward but now everything looks good so we proceed please wait while sending NDA for signature and that's it we exit the blueprint at this point and the sent for signature is the instruction the state is approved by contract sent for signature i get a signature request here as the contact i'm just going to log in i'm sorry i don't need to log in i'm just going to sign it and that's it as soon as i sign this the state inside this nda status is going to change and let me just click on finish once this is done you can see if i refresh it says send NDA receipt which means now it's sending another email to the CEO of the company to sign so the final signature on the NDA will be sent to the CEO now I'm gonna sign as the CEO of this company as well and the CEO so finish and that's it this is the end of the process now a fully executed NDA has been signed and if I refresh this you will see that fully executed copy sent to all parties. Now everybody gets a signed version of this NDA, the contact and the CEO and you can see it also here. This is how the document looks like and basically here are all the signatures. One last thing I want to mention before the end of this video, which is we have also prepared, a, you can see all the historical changes of the NDA status here, but we also added the KPI for the NDA process that says how long did, ta did it take for everyone to take care of their tasks. So compliance, four minutes, contracts, four minutes. And uh, as you can see, countersign pdf had happened at this time so this is the data kpi that you can use and have a report out of it to see in the next video i'm just gonna go through signing requesting an msa which is very similar to the nda and this msa will be also signed inside the account and then we will show you the work order which is much more exciting and it's a much more advanced automation that we, we created. So thank you so much for your time and see you in the next video.